Hello, this is the DIY Magician with another episode of how to make upcycled puppets. Well, this one uh, kind of had me fooled for a minute because I got it and I thought, oh, this is a nice little stuffed animal. It, um, it has uh, something inside and it makes a little really, you got to really listen for it. Well, a really muted growling noise. And I thought, wow, this would make a great puppet. It already has the open mouth. Everything would be great. I just have to open it up on the Velcro bottom part here. And I could reach inside and, and work the mouth. And I started looking at it and I realized it already had a hole in the back and it already is a puppet. So there it is. I guess, is this Simba? I'm not sure it is. It's one of the Lion King characters. Uh, it'll talk. Hello, I'm a lion. I'm not truthful because I'm lying. Oh, that's a bad joke. Anyways, uh, this is an upcycled puppet because I'm going to actually take it and gut it because this little box inside is completely useless and it kind of gets in the way. So what I'm going to do is figure out how to take apart this Lion King doll. And there it is. That's right, that's all it took was to remove the uh, little mechanism inside. Uh, it still Velcros back together. In fact, if you wanted to, you could put some sort of little uh, device in there to um, do something silly and, and keep it as a pocket or a purse or whatever. But it makes it a lot easier to actually hold on to the lion like this and uh, go roar, just like that. If you had a talking lion that you wanted to work with, the only problem is you wouldn't want to do too many shows um, because it is a, a, a Disney product. But uh, other than that, you have an upcycled Lion King puppet. There it is. Roar! Thanks a lot, guys, for uh, hanging out with me, uh, those of you who've been here before. Those of you who are new to uh, the DIY Magician, please subscribe to the, uh, the Facebook and YouTube channels. Thank you again.